Alright, I, I keep forgetting to, to record myself when I'm doing these kinds of things, but um, today we are working on midnight. So, we're going to flip you guys around, I'll show you what I've done so far, and we'll go from there. So the goal of midnight is we got to tear it all the way down. Um, all, so we got to take the heads off, tear it all the way down to the block, where we are going to end up rebuilding this engine without taking it out of the motor because you notice I don't have a garage and I don't live in a place where it's just easy to pull it out so we live below our means for a reason um, doing so kind of sucks sometimes so I'm going to show you I'm gonna flip you around show you what we have done so far So what I've done so far is we have removed the airbox, got rid of this hose that's on our way because we need to take the power steering pump off, we got to take the alternator off. Um, I'm thinking this is already empty, but we're going to take we're gonna need to take this all off. I I need to clean that all up. I want nothing over there. Just like I barely have anything over here. I'm not taking this apart because this will be a pain in my ass to redo. But all this, we've already gotten this disconnected. Um, Got to get the alternator out to get the last two in this whole wiring harness, except for it's connected to the bottom somewhere. Uh, we can just move it out of our way once it's here. Once we get that taken care of. So right now we are going to take the belt off, take the battery off because, like an idiot, I got ahead of myself and didn't do stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. So, we're going to take the battery out, then we're going to take this belt off, take the alternator off, get to those last two, take this power steering pump off, to get to that last one that goes all the way down there, and clean this side of the motor. Once you get it all cleaned out, all of our workspace cleaned out, then we can start focusing on that side, and once you get that side done, then we are going to take the valve cover off, or valve cover, the intake manifold, then the valve covers, and then the heads, once we get these, these off. This side looks like it's going to be an easy workaround. This side is going to be my nightmare. So we got tons of things to remove, tons of things to get ahead of ourselves. So let's right get into it. We're probably going to speed this up. You know, I'll be kicking my butt on here. You with the power of TV. See, it'll be done in, in no time. So I'll either speed this up or skip ahead. So, yeah. So what we've done is we've gotten most of the front parts, all the, most of the accessories done. I still have what a idler pulley, tensioner pulley. I still need to take this power steering pump off. But we've exposed some of the gunk. So we got some nasty sludge. Uh, I broke the PVZ pipe. PVC pipe but it's okay I'm probably going to do a catch can with this just to give it some extra love um, you can clearly see these valve covers are toast so they've been leaking oil for a while now both sides this one's a little cleaner than this side but then when you go down here uh, see if I can get you a good view 
you can clearly see that we got some down there and it's all messed up but looking at these plastic valve covers I don't see any damage to them so might be a good idea that we don't have any uh, loose rockers let's not jinx ourselves and cross our fingers so I'm still cleaning up this mess um, I might have to find a way to get this discharged properly because while moving it we found out that it's still charged so um, yeah um, I'm not in the mood to commit a felony so yeah we're gonna have to find a way to properly discharge this because I need I need it moved uh, we'll figure it out um, might have one of the uh, AC guys that we're gonna shop come out and might properly discharge it who knows we'll see so right now we're cleaning this up getting it all taken care of and a lot of these stuff like all this crap oh, that's not so bad but all this shit's brittle as fuck so we're going to be replacing all of these when we get new ones might even go woven because woven is so much nicer um these are also a little brittle i already broke one of the red clip pieces on here it doesn't mean it won't work it just means that it won't lock. I don't want. I want that to lock. Um, so we're already running in. So maybe even you can even see uh, the fuel line's a little loose right there. So definitely want to get probably a new fuel rail. Um, what else? Everything just looks dirty and dusty. So uh, we're gonna continue tearing this thing apart. So I got to pull this out so I can get this pigtail out of my way. This is already kind of out of my way. I think once I pull this out, um, I'm going to have a lot more room to work with. And then, oh, so this is, I don't know about you, but uh, this, deal, these heater lines being metal, Seems like I'm a pain in my goddamn ass. But if I disconnected the firewall, disconnect it at the at the bottom of the water pump, I might just be able to just remove them. That gives me some more room to work with. Uh, I the only thing I'm dreading is taking the the exhaust manifolds off. Once I take those off, then God, that doesn't make me feel good at all. Um, once I take those off, then it's just a matter of unbolting the heads. I'm gonna bolt the heads. We're also going to, because we these are overhand cams, we are going to replace the timing belt or timing chain as well. So we gotta pull all of this off. All of this has gotta go so we can get to the timing chain and we're gonna replace it all. So brand new timing chain. Cross our fingers is the that the heads aren't warped it's just a head gasket but at the same time it's not the end of the world because if the heads aren't warped then we're replacing the the camshaft yeah the camshaft bearings the lifters the rockers um, all the goodiness all inside there on both sides now if the heads are warped I can get new heads with a brand new everything anyway so it's a win-win either way so no loss if the heads are warped I just gotta make sure that they are still our beloved HO high output heads we want the HO heads I could care less for the other ones now we are gonna go to the junkyard and get the 2008 intake manifold we just need a bracket for that bad boy because it didn't have our spring loaded oh watch our spring loaded you know butterfly valve here it was all computer controlled um, she is still cable controlled so we need to I think 
There's a guy who makes um, the bracket. Uh, he, I think he aluminum. He makes them out of aluminum. Bolts onto the new valve, plastic valve covers to fit these old. I say old um, throttle bodies, so that we can still use our our valves. So um, we'll be doing that. Outside of that, I have some ideas what I want to do since we don't have to tear apart. We also might get rid of this ugly, this whole mess. Like, who in their right mind decided it was a good idea to power a fan with a power steering pump? That, that's freaking stupid. So, we might go and go to a 5.9, a Grand Cherokee, the beloved 5.9 Grand Cherokee, that's a 3.18, but the 5.9 had an electric fan that we can go and warp the shroud to make it fit, to make it happy, and it will fit beautifully on here, and we can not only delete the power steering fan altogether, we can go with an older power steering pump, That'll bolt right in here. I think a ZJ pump will fit. I'll do my research. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, we might get rid of this this dreaded uh, power steering fan and go with an electric fan. Um, I'm still partial for a mechanical fan, and even though this thing has threads, there's just no room for a mechanical fan. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So, yeah, we'll carry on and just tell me if I'm doing something stupid, laugh at me, I don't care. Um, I don't mind, correct, uh, you know, criticism, uh, cri yeah, criticism, no, constructive criticism, as long as it's, you know, not, oh, what is the word, see, I've only had one cup of coffee, and it's already late in the day. Um, I don't mind being told I'm wrong. And how to do it right. Just be respectful about it. But uh, this isn't something I like to do all the time. But we are definitely going to um, need help with this. This is a whole new motor for me. I've spent 15 years knowing that motor inside and out. And I know that 318 very well. This 47 is new to me. Um, like all... This is ridiculous. You know, so many freaking sensors. You know, hell, she has more sensors than I would like, but uh, I've had my, my fair share of yelling and screaming at her, and she's, she's finally being nice. So I'm not going to jinx it. But, yeah, we got we got already shit we got to replace. So, yeah, this is going to be a, gonna be a daunting ta task. So, yeah, follow us while we, while we continue this progress. After getting someone in, and they brought me their uh, AC, their, uh, they had, a, I guess, a portable one to drain the AC out of there. We were able to get the AC off. Sorry, I didn't film it, but it's getting it hot, so we can only do this like usually in the morning and the, in the evening. Got the intake manifold off, and guess what left me a prize? I found myself a booby prize. Ew. I don't know what it is. But it's garbage now. Ooh. So, yeah. There are mice living in my car. So, now all we gotta do now is we're gonna get these disconnected. I mean, I don't think I have to because the plug's just right there. 
Um, but we definitely still need to clean up this little workspace over here. Clean that workspace or you out. Have clustered. So we're gonna pull the AC lines off the firewall, the hard uh, heater lines. Those are gonna get replaced, and then we're gonna take this this uh, pigtail or this ponytail of uh, wires and just kind of get it out of my way. That way, I should have a clean space to take these valve covers off and then take these heads off. I'm trying to make it as easy as I can. I do need to pull all of this off to get to the timing belt, the timing belt cover, so I can replace the timing belt. Because if we're going to tear this all the way down to the block, huh? if we got to take this down to the block, might as well just flat out rebuild it. So we're going to go and just take care of that all in one shot. Um, as I'm tearing this apart, I've been noticing broken uh, vacuum lines. So no wonder it was driving like garbage for a previous owner. I mean, it was one split line after another split line. So we're going to be rebuilding the vacuum system too. So we're... Yay! Fun times! So it's going to be a full engine rebuild. It would probably be easier if I pulled the motor out, but do I ever do anything easy? No. It's always got to be difficult. I found this a long time ago. I always find an easy way. It's usually after I did it the hard way. And if I found it, do it the easy way the first time, it becomes the hard way because... That's just your life. Just, you know, if I don't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. So we're going to do this all in the engine bay because I don't have an engine hoist and the wife won't want an engine in her house. So. <laughs> we need a garage, okay. I don't have Sorry. that either. If I had a garage, it'd be different. But we're going to be doing this all in the engine bay without pulling the motor out. So we're doing it the hard way because that's just my life. So sorry we didn't feel me pulling the, the intake manifold out, but we'll try to make sure we film the rest of it as we go. A lot of it's gonna be speed running and, and time lapse, because all we're doing is stripping it down right now, figuring out what the actual issues are, and then going from there and cleaning, scrubbing, painting, doing what I need to do with this engine so we can build it back up to be a functional, high-performance trail rig like Catherine. So. Alright, another day doing work on midnight here. Uh, we're doing a little piece, piece of time if you see it's hard outside. And I only get like so many hours in a day to work on things. So let's show you around. We got our lights off. We're going to work on getting the grill out, getting this uh, cross member off and the bumper off so we can get the radiators out to get us to the timing cover and get the timing cover off. We already got the intake manifold off, got most of that cleared away, most of this cleared away. So we are making progress. Yes. So yeah, um, look at you guys through another time lapse of us this dismantling midnight. Monstrosity. We got parts lying everywhere right now. The neighbors must love us. We have that pulled out. So all we gotta do now is remove these AC lines, move the heater, move the heater lines, get this all cleaned up, put, remove the dryer. Once we move the dryer, AC lines, heater lines, 
get all this electrical stuff moved out of my way. Then the goal is to get to the exhaust manifolds. Now, I want to do some research. I want to make this as quick and painless as possible for both me and Midnight. I want to try to get these, probably start soaking them in penetrating oil and get these bolts off. So I got to get these shields off get here. This side is not going to be as bad. I'm not pulling the brake thing. I, I'm just not in the mood to deal with the brake bullshit if I pull all that. So all of this is going to say, so I have this little bit of room to work with. Here, if I can remove this and all of this mess, I have a lot more room to work with. But initially, this was actually the worst side. For when it's all said and done, it's probably going to be the easiest side to work on. So we're going to clean all this up and get it taken care of the right way. Get those exhaust manifolds off. Once you get the exhaust manifold off, then the valve covers come off. Once the valve covers come off, then the heads. Then we can inspect this whole engine and see how healthy it is. If the block is okay, we're good. The block is trash, and then we gotta figure out a new game plan. Uh, might be buying a new motor, uh, might be seeing if I can find a Hemi, throw a Hemi in there. Who knows? Might get lucky, depending on how much an engine is going to cost me. Most likely, if I am being honest and being me and channeling my inner Tim the Toolman Taylor, Hemi's going to go in here. If this engine's shot, Hemi's going to go in and we're going to put that in there. So we'll see how that works out. Again, it's a little here, a little there. It's like 90 degrees already out here and. Uh, this humidity is killing me so we got this done tomorrow we'll pull the rest of this all stuff out or later tonight pull some more of this out while it's the heat of the day just gonna chill in the house hang out with the kids play some video games but yeah, this is all gonna get cleaned up this is gonna get cleaned up and then uh, my little wasp friend over here is just gonna chill out with me I think you've seen her flying around in here She's been chill so far. There she is, right there. The mahogany wasp. So, she's gonna chill out with me while I do this. Um, she's been chilling out with me this whole project, and not once have I had any incident with her. So, cross our fingers, right? While we're here, we are going to replace this, even if it doesn't seem like it needs it, um, just for preventative maintenance. Just gonna replace it, taken care of. We're gonna replace the the uh, water pump again for preventive maintenance. We're gonna replace the tensioner pulley. A lot of this is gonna be preventive maintenance, and we're just gonna, you know, get it done because it just needs to get done. And since I have, I'm already in this deep. Might as well do the job correctly. So. Um, oil pressure unit, we're also going to replace it. Um, what else? Uh, tension, uh, tensioner pulleys we already talked about. The idler pulley is going to get replaced. Um, there is another guy who built his WJ. And I can't think of his channel. I'll probably link at the bottom. He has a better uh, harmonic balancer that gave us a little, gave him a little extra more horsepower. So we're probably going to throw that on there. If that helps us with some torque and horsepower, that would be great. So we're also going to replace the timing chain. So um, again, even if it doesn't need it, uh, it's going to be preventive maintenance. And looking at the health of what I do see, and we're going to turn you sideways. Uh, it looks like this engine was beaten and abused from what I can see, and I'm hoping that uh, it's not toast. Again, the block is what we care about. The rest of it is replaceable. The block is repairable, but at what cost? I don't have an emotional attachment to this block. Not like I do with the 318 and Catherine, but midnight, um, we're trying to give her some new life. So in the end, this block is toast. The block is toast. We're going to put something else in here. If the block is not toast, 
then we are going to repair what we can. Um, if that means new pistons, new everything, then that's what we're going to do. We're also going to pull the crankshaft out, place the main bearings, the connecting rod bearings, and inspect the crankshaft, and inspect the connecting rods on the bottom end. And then while we, actually we're, we're going to even replace the piston ring, so we'll be pulling the whole thing out and replacing those rings as well. Again, while we're in it, might as well do it. <sighs> More work more of a pain in the ass but it can be done it can be done just gotta chip at it a little here a little there and we'll keep working on it so even though to you guys it's in a matter of minutes to us it's a little here a little there every day and hopefully the goal is to get her up and running before september that's the goal if it doesn't happen it'll suck we have some Jeep events we want to go to. We're already going to miss the Oregon, uh, the Pacific Northwest, or um, the Overland Expo in the Pacific Northwest in Redmond, Oregon, where I grew up. Um, and that's going to suck. I was kind of looking forward to that. The family's looking forward to that. Things came up. The general dying didn't help. Um, Catherine, uh, her bearings blew up. So they're, she's getting repaired because I don't have time to work on her and this. So it's just a pain in my ass. Um, so Catherine's at the shop getting fixed, doing my you know, the bearing stuff because I just don't have the time nor the strength to really do it. I mean, I'm not strength. Strength's a bad word for it. I hope you guys understand what I mean. It's just I only got the umph to do it. I'm putting all the umph in here, getting this done. Uh, we might just get rid of these stupid bolts. They don't. This one didn't even have anything hooked up to it. This had. A, a ground hooked up to it, so we probably still ground it out right there. This, these are just in the way. I'm like, just get them out of my way. So we'll see what we're gonna do from there. Um, yeah, so just stick with us, figure out what we're doing. Hopefully, you guys find this entertaining. Um, and let's pray that the block is a shot. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.